Here's how you could get into medical school even if you have a low GPA. So this is a common question and a lot of students want to know if they want to, they're able to get into medical school if they have a low GPA because it's one of the hardest things to change once you get to the finish line and it's up time to apply. One major sort of a thing that we need to first say is that you probably heard in some of my uh, videos is, yes, I understand your frustration. I understand that GPA is totally BS and it doesn't correlate with anything at all. It's, if it does anything, it just causes bias and studies have shown this. But at the end of the day, GPA still remains a major important factor in the admissions process for most schools, unfortunately. So how do you get in if you have a low GPA and you have no control to change that now, besides going and doing another undergrad, which is just not realistic for most people, totally waste of time. There are ways you could do this. You need to understand how the admissions process works. So why do people get rejected? Well, majority of applicants you know get rejected. Why do they get rejected? It's either one of the following or a combination of all of it. It's either low GPA, low MCAT, uh, terrible applications, personal statements, uh, you know, list of activities, etc. They do pretty poorly on Casper or interviews or situational judgment tests or AMC preview. They have terrible uh, letters of recommendation and they don't even know it. And, you know, it, it could also just be the fact that uh, they start a little bit too late, especially if it's a rolling admissions process. So those things could definitely kill an application. You combine these two together, they're definitely going to kill your chances of getting in. Now, how do we get in if, uh, you know, we can control all the other factors, but we have a low GPA? Well, there are ways you could do this. I want to actually give you six tips on how you could get in with a low GPA. I think the fourth one is a, is a deadly one if you avoid uh, and, you know, don't pay attention to it. But first, I want to tell you something, which is how low are we talking about? Let's be realistic, right? If your GPA is like a 2.0, realistically, it's over, right? Go do another undergrad. Go figure out something else. Go do a post back. Go, you know, figure something else out because it's, it just becomes unrealistic. Assuming that it's not too low that you're completely rejected by all schools because of their minimum, uh, you know, GPA is not even met. Normally, minimum GPA doesn't mean, mean anything, but in this case, it does. So now let's go through the six tips I'm going to give you on how to get into medical school with a low GPA. First one is you have to only apply to schools where you meet the minimum required GPA. Do not apply to any school where you don't meet the minimum required GPA. They tell you what that is. Only select those and that's it. Secondly, you have to control the things you could actually control. So let's go over them one by one. So the second thing you want to do is you have control over your MCAT. Make sure you don't give another excuse for what the MCAT. Do not apply until you're actually able to score at least 90th percentile in every category of the MCAT. Do not apply before that. Remember, you're only giving one excuse, which is GPA. Don't give MCAT as an excuse. And it's one that's easily fixable if you put the time and effort into it. And if you're, you don't score well, don't apply. Apply until you score what I'm, uh, you know, where you're actually, you're minimally at the 90th percentile for every single category. Second is make sure you take advantage of rolling admissions and start preparing well in advance of application actually opening if you're applying to a school that requires, uh, that includes a rolling admission process. Apply, start preparing first of all three, four months in advance, so that with the minute application cycle opens, you submit right away. That has a huge advantage because you're gonna be assessed against other applicants multiple times throughout the application. And, and if you don't have major red flags, you're not gonna get uh, rejected right away. Do not rush your personal statement, application documents, list of activities, list of essays if there, there's any essays. Make sure you proofread them, you rewrite, rewrite. Don't get married to your own writing. Let others who are, you know, uh, really good at uh, understanding the admissions process and have higher education to review it, give you honest feedback. Don't ask family and friends. They don't normally are able to give uh, good feedback because they don't want to hurt your feelings. So ask somebody who doesn't know you uh, to do this for you and do this multiple times. You should edit at least five times most people again i'm generalizing yes there are some people who are fantastic they get it the first time 
most people normally need five to ten edits a few times on their own when they think it's perfect then with the help of somebody who doesn't know them and then a few times with that person don't want to give another excuse so the next excuse that you must absolutely avoid if you're applying to any school that requires casper amc preview situational judgment test or they're going to interview you at some point the minute you have uh, submitted your applications is the time for you to start preparing for those you have no idea how many times we've seen students and they have like perfect stats and get rejected then they come to us here at b1 and say well what was it? It wasn't your GPA. It wasn't your MCAT. Uh, your application also seems good. Wait, what did you do for Casper AMC preview and interview? Oh, I just winged it. They told me I should be myself in some random forum. Ha, huh, that's what it was. Then we helped them out. They get like three, four, five acceptance letters. It's so important that you prepare in advance. Block out the naysayers and people who may try to derail your success. Just like anything else for the admissions process, everything requires preparation. If you didn't need to prepare, why would they even give you uh, Casper tests or interviews or AMC preview if there was no need to prepare and you could just be yourself? That makes, that makes no logical sense. Think about it. If that was the case, the test wouldn't be needed. Everybody would be accepted. Obviously, you need to prepare for it and 100% you could prepare for it. Unless it's a test that was made on the planet Mars, you can prepare for it, right? A human being on this planet Earth created it so you can prepare for it. Any behavior is a learned behavior. So learn, make sure you're prepared. Yes, there are some people who don't need preparation and naturally understand how to handle Casper scenarios, AMC preview scenarios or interviews. Most people need preparation. You probably need preparation. Make sure you prepare and stop listening to nonsense that people say. You know, when I put it like that, it sounds laughable, but it is really nonsense. So that's the next thing to do. After that, you need to make sure that the reference letters you're submitting, your letters of recommendation are absolutely fantastic. Again, that's not another excuse. So only ask people who are willing to write you a strong letter of reference, strong letter of recommendation, not just any letter of recommendation, right? So it goes down to asking for that and only you know, allowing people to write it for you who have known you well and are literally, as soon as you ask them, are you willing to write me a strong letter of reference? They say, yeah, hell yes. That's the person you go. If they hesitate, don't ask them. Go to the next person. Lastly, you, you want to also make sure that, you know, if you get invited for an interview, I already told you to prepare in advance, but if you get invited for an interview, then even take it even more seriously so that you've been already preparing, but you got to make sure you do a lot of mock interviews. Interviews are uh, one thing that will 100% get you rejected, even if everything is perfect. I've seen, literally, I've seen students get rejected because of interviews because it is impossible to get in through the admissions process if you don't do well on your interview. Literally impossible. You could have perfect stats. On the other hand, I've seen students who have average you know, stats and average experiences, but they absolutely nail that interview and they get in. Why? I'll tell you why. Because interview, you have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with somebody else, right? Now you finally have that human interaction with the admissions officers and those who are essentially making a final call. If you do that right, you make friends with them. It's over. The minute you make friends, it's over. They could see you as a good colleague. They see you're professional. You're an honest person. You're, you have good maturity. You have good communication skills. Over. Done. So to recap, how do you get into medical school if you have a low GPA? One, you choose only schools where you at least meet the minimum requirement for the GPA that they set. If you need to rewrite the MCAT as many times as possible, of course, not going beyond the maximum allowed to score at least 90th percentile or above on every category on the MCAT. Make sure you apply early so that you're uh, beating the rolling admissions and you have lots of time. The other thing is make sure you make your application stand out by getting a lot of feedback from people that don't know you at all. Next tip is make sure you prepare for uh, Casper AMC preview and just your standard interviews way in advance and lastly only submit letters of recommendations from individuals who are willing to write you a fantastic strong letter of reference not anybody else that's it i hope this is going to help you out if you enjoyed this go ahead and share it with a friend who may enjoy it as well 
subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this and I'll talk to you soon.